Bonjour, welcome back to the channel. It's Emily Talpin. I'm an OM system ambassador and today I'm going to give you one tip to improve your bird photography. So let's get started. So today I am back at the pond. I've been going in the uh, forest a little bit more. It's just so pretty. Uh, the leaves are starting to turn, uh, it's fall, it's getting really cold. Uh, actually, I should talk about this as well. Uh, I know it's a, a video about bird uh, photography and I'm going to give you one tip for improving your bird video, but I've just realized that I'm wearing this. Uh, and this is great because if you put it over your nose, there's actually a wire here and it's kind of like a, a COVID mask. But what it does is that if you have uh, glasses, you won't fog your glasses or you won't fog the viewfinder. And I'm going to put the name of the company. It's two ladies who are making uh, those and selling them. You can get them online. It is super comfortable and it's just great because I hate having the viewfinder being completely foggy or my glasses being completely foggy. So I really recommend it. But as I said, um, it's fall right now. I'm back at the pond. I've been having a great time with the beavers. Uh, I'm hoping to get more beaver photos um, throughout the winter because they move closer towards a part of the pond that I can access pretty easily. And uh, actually very, very close to this area, I find a barred owl a couple of days ago. And I was so excited. Um, it's been a long time that um, I had not seen one and I've been hearing this couple calling um, for maybe two weeks now and they've been kind of further. I don't want to track uh, through the woods and bother them and also get ticks. So I haven't been able to see them. But I was alerted to the uh, barred owl because the blue jays told me that the barred owl was there. And that's one of my tips for you. Know, um, know how to recognize bird call. I knew, oh, that's actually a blue jay right here. Uh, they were actually uh, maybe three blue jays that were mobbing the owl. And um, they hate uh, to have an owl in their territory, so they're trying to chase it. And they go and, you know, fly by the owl and they try to pick at the owl. And I could hear it was such a, a ruckus. It was so loud. They were flying all over the owl. And so I thought, oh, I, I can hear all those blue jays. I know there is a barred owl. And the barred owl was there. Uh, pretty close to the path and I was able to take a quick photo nothing great at all because the light was really bad the angle wasn't great I couldn't get a good angle and I didn't want to walk around and flush the owl uh, but it's one thing when you are out like this just be aware of what birds are around you and those birds might help you find other birds birds that maybe you're looking uh, for like the owl and in order for you to be able to recognize the birds that are in your area I really recommend that you join your Audubon chapter and that you go on the uh, bird tour with them The people who are leading the bird tours are expert They know so many bird calls They can just walk around and tell you all the different birds are around you without even seeing them It is fantastic uh, that's all I've been doing this weekend is hanging out with my local birders and uh, I have learned so much from them and I've been very very inspired and trust me knowing your birds knowing the calls knowing their behavior knowing where to look for them is going to make a big difference with your bird photography and it's also really fun to share your passion with others and learn from others. So that's my tip for today. It's a pretty short video, but I think it's an important tip. If you want to be a good bird photographer, you need to put the time and effort knowing your camera, but also knowing your birds. And uh, what better way to do it than supporting your local Audubon chapter. 
also remember Bird Edic. I'm going to put uh, the link to uh, the Audubon uh, Etic Guide to a Good Bird Photographer so you can go and look at all the tips that are giving you. Very important, the wellness of the bird comes first before any photos. So remember that. A photo of a bird that's stressed is not going to be a good photo. So you want to observe uh, some of the guidelines that they're giving you. Let me know in the comments what are your tips to be a better bird photographer. Are you part of your local Audubon chapter? Are you part of other type of groups? Maybe your uh, camera club as a birding group that you are joining or maybe you have uh, books that you recommend. Having a good bird book is also very important. Uh, you have your photo and then you can go back to your uh, bird guide and try to identify the bird that you capture if you're not sure what you capture because oh my god there are a lot of varieties of warblers, sparrows, I'm just learning little bit by little bit but it's really fun. Uh, sparrow is not just a sparrow, there are lots of different variety. So it's kind of fun to be able to identify them. So I hope this video was informative. I want to thank you again for all your support. I really really appreciate it and if you are not a subscriber yet click on the subscribe button, click on the bell so you know uh, when my videos are coming out. I cannot wait for this week's talk and I hear more and more blue jay coming. Maybe the barred owl is back. So maybe I'm going to go and, and uh, go in that direction and see uh, what they are doing. Again, thank you so much. Have a good weekend. Keep on clicking and learning. Et à bientôt. Au revoir. Thank you.